Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and certain doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much guys for supporting my channel. Thank you so much guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Sagittarius, please do click the bell and click the subscribe button Sagittarius, okay? What is coming towards you Sagittarius? What is the guided message? that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know I'm channeling the next 30 days of June to July I want you to think of your situation think about your focus think about your person if it's a person I'll connect with you and let's look into your psychic reading okay what is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is for the Sagittarius sign What is the message for the Sagittarius sign, please? Ooh, you have the full card. You have the Seven of Cups. You have the Three of Wands. You have the King of Wands in here. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Three of Pentacles in here. The Six of Pentacles is here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. The King of Wands is here. Okay, Sagittarius, let's start your reading. So, you're starting the reading, Sagittarius, with the full card energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces. There's a Seven of Cups in here. Um, I am getting the psychic feeling, Sagittarius, that you want to take a risk. You want to take a leap of faith, or you might have done it already, okay? Because the full card is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, it feels exciting but you're not confident okay um the full card and the seven of cups in here <coughs> the full card the seven of cups the nine the ace and the king of pentacles you know this is a reading where you're connected to a situation or a person or a project where um you're taking a leap of faith you're taking a risk you could be confident to yourself, but the other person is not confident with you. If it's a situation where it's involving another person, um, it's like doing a, I'm doing a business with you, okay? I want to have a connection with you, a relationship with you, a business with you. I'm excited. I want to take a risk. I'm confident. But the other one, it doesn't look like they're confident. You know, like you're being questioned. I'm hearing that. But this is a reading where you could feel that they want to contribute, they're trying, they wanted to, but not in full confidence, okay? There's a situation, there's a person, that, or it could be you, because Nine of Pentacles is confident. The Ace of Pentacles, I'm going to invest. But if you look at the King of Pentacles in here, he doesn't look like he's having his, you know, the time of his life, like, um... He doesn't look like he's happy giving the money or something tells me he's not fully confident of you or the situation someone is full on i'm confident i am gonna take a risk i'm gonna take a leap of faith i'm responding i'm engaged yay you know and the other person is not although they're making an effort but not fully okay and what you're getting from the situation is a seven of cups you're confused i mean it is um it's a, it's a reading, Sagittarius, where no matter how optimistic you are, or no matter how optimistic the other person, if there's one who's pulling down the situation, dragging it down, it will affect, affect, <laughs> it will affect the outcome in here. And the Seven of Cups, it's already giving you some sort of red flag. Ooh, do you really want it? Because I want it. Because if I ask you, do you want it? Yes, I want it. The other person, do you want it? I want it. But it's not It's not as the way you want things, Sagittarius. There's a fear. There's a hesitation. But they're responding. They're replying. Okay? Let's see. Let's look at the Seven of Cups in here. Yeah, someone is... This is like you're unlimited. This person is limited. So it could be business. It could be career. It could be love. But the success of your situationship 
or project or relationship is based from two mutual people who have the same understanding, the same confident, the same contribution. Like everything is mutual and equal. And of course, optimistic. Okay? Because in this reading, one is of one could be you. I don't think it's them, to be honest. Um, one is in the like one you are in you're sitting in a very optimistic state of mind while the other or the people involved they're limited and the three of wands i think what the advice of your higher self sagittarius with the three of wands is that if you want to secure this in your future you've got to improve your communication conversation with regards to their state of mind, their state of feeling, and their state of confidence. A communication needs to happen. If you wanted to reach an outcome or if you want to secure this in the future, because the three of wands is the future. Like, don't just feel it, Sagittarius. Inquire about your hesitation, your worries and concern. Because if there's someone who has some worries and concern in here, it is you, Sagittarius. Yeah, someone is acting, someone, it feels like someone is saying yes, but not confident, okay? Like, like this is a situation where it could also be, you said yes to me, but why do you ask every move, every step? Like, I thought you're going to work with me, so you have to respect my decision too. So, I could feel this in this reading that, yep, I thought we are partner. We're in a relationship, but why are you questioning me? Why do you... But someone is guarded. Like, this is not propelling. Like, this situation is not propelling or going to the next level because of one person. Because of a one area is not fully confident. And, yeah, because the Queen of Swords, she's questioning somebody, someone. In here, like, someone is doing work, but not happy. Someone is in a relationship, talking to you, calling you, but not happy, not fully happy. Someone is not being transparent or open about their true feelings. The Three of Wands, if you see this red flag, or the Three of Wands, this is, this Three of Wands, this is your, <coughs> this is the, this is connected to you. This is the advice of your higher self, Sagittarius. What you need to prioritize is if you're seeing this, if you're seeing this unequalness, if you're seeing a red flag, Knight of Wands, communicate it. Because it's connected to your money, it's connected to your family, it's connected to your relationship, it's connected to your future, it's connected to your lover. Yeah, so it's connected to something soul. Like th this whole reading, this situationship that you're working on, maybe up until now or recently, maybe in the past, but it's still very much active, is three of wands, and your current energies is also the king of wands. So be proactive, communicate it. And you're also the knight of wands in here. Because the knight of wands is the king of wands. This is very much connected. Um, if you are not liking something, you have the ability, the charm, to bridge the gap and say the communication in such a way that, you know, it's not, it will proceed in a charming way. So that, or that could be the advice to you, is that, you know what, Saj, Sagittarius, you know how to, you know, you are the best communicator. Use your charm, use your wit, because they're going to listen to you. Whoever this person is, they might just need a TLC conversation, Sagittarius, because this is related to money, family, ambition, or it could be the love of your life. You won't lose them if you ask question. You might even win their heart over if you ask question. And the energy that you use if you ask question is because I care. You know? Because this person, whoever this person is, Queen of Swords, she's not communicating it well. Someone is inquisitive, but it's like interrogating. So maybe it could be you. I don't think it's you because there's so much fire in here. You're a better communicator. All I'm getting is that you're a better communicator and motivator. Use your charm to address some red flag before it's too late, okay? 
in in your current energy right now at present moving you know like right now moving to june like Ju june to july you have a king of wands um you're very excited sagittarius i could feel um i could feel that your state of energy is very excited we are now at the midpoint of 2024 and i could feel some sort of excitement towards you um i could feel with the you know with the king of wands in here you have like you're settling in okay it's possible you, you know around march april you know it's 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 a bit of a it's um i would say the first five months it's like this okay the first five months of 2024 is like up and down up and down with you sagittarius i could feel that now jupiter moved to gemini it's it's now it's now it's now in two weeks i could feel that you're settling in like you're basking like you're soaking in and settling in with this energy okay i feel like because the nine of cups you're starting to enjoy you're starting to feel good day to day enjoy friends family you have the king of wands you're starting to feel excited again and something start to feel like it's less busier than three to four nine weeks ago with the king of wands nine of cups three of pentacles because this three of pentacles in here sagittarius <coughs> like for some of you the next two to three weeks you would notice that you're less busy you've saved money you're more excited uh less problematic i would say it's not perfect but less problem less complicated people around you have more time to really focus on important people that you wish to improve your relationship you have more focus to make friends you have more focus to plan into your adventure uh to entertainment for some of you in the past i, I feel like in the last three to four weeks you didn't have so much i think you were planning but it just went into a plan but the next three seven ten days you have so much time to allocate or to dedicate to your fun entertainment learning and to allocate it and to allocate it to things situation or people that makes you happy okay so the king of wands you're starting to settle like your energy reading sagittarius is you're starting to ease in like maybe the last five months from jen to may it's been a roller coaster well right now it's more settled you're, you're starting to settle in and you're the king of wands so you're starting to settle in yeah the page of swords people are starting to reply back to you so with the page of swords in here like people are more straightforward sagittarius and all you're also you can also commit in terms of current energies moving towards at least the next three seven ten days sagittarius there's so much change like good change like it feels more lighter you would notice that with the page of swords people reply to you quickly people respond to you quickly you're getting reply quickly and also responding quickly you have more time to respond to reply to plan inter to to plan entertainment to plan adventure you know even like as simple as plan your meal well, you might have been busy in the last three to three to three six nine weeks the last three to nine weeks sagittarius well it's not like that right now moving forward it's more settled it's your time your energy and your mind it's more allocated into reward into learning not so much about solving the problem you're getting faster to i don't know if you have a new job maybe you have a new job a new business but you're getting faster you know when you have a new job you're quite slow but i could feel right now you're you're so fast at what you do faster in quality sagittarius the seven of pentacles and the four wow now you're very clever with money the three four seven so for some of you it's so funny because i'm seeing I'm seeing a person who okay I'm gonna save money I'm gonna save money you keep telling yourself I'm gonna save money and one day you wake up and like oh I have so much money or I've saved money it's time to spend it a bit of reward so look at that Ooh, look at you 
So for some of you guys, you would wake up one day with a realization that I have saved enough money, I paid it, now I've got to spend it on myself, with my adventure, with my restaurant, with my journeys, with my beauty routine. So there's some sort of, it's all about you, Sagittarius. It's like, you know what? Your energy reading, Sagittarius, is like you're, you're making up for the lost time. Making up for the lost time for yourself. Sagittarius, good on you, good on you. Now, you have the Six of Pentacles in you. What's coming towards you between June to July? Equilibrium, Sagittarius, I would say. Because we are also going to have a new moon tomorrow. So there's a bit of new moon reading in here. Like expect a new cycle, a new chapter where you're more relaxed. Your time is more allocated into fun. There is problem solving, but it isn't as gruesome. Uh, the problem solving, it's an adventure. And the Six of Pentacles, you will start to set your foot into goals and aspiration. You know, sometimes when, sometimes life is so busy. You know, sometimes life is so busy ever-changing day to day that we forgot to dream we forgot to put or allocate time to our creative venture our creative uh, you know creative vision so you will start to pick up a creative vision something that you something you promise yourself you know you will commit to your vision okay what's coming towards you um I want you to pay attention, Sagittarius, because the universe will send you lots of nudges that is inviting you to explore information. Like the universe will send you lots of interesting ideas that will allow you to go back to a creative pursuit. It could also be a personal objective in here. And I believe that whatever it is that you're going to um, unfold or discover, I see you being very committed to it because you have time. Like your reading is confirmed. Uh, this is a reading where it's confirming now you have time. In the last three, six, maybe nine weeks, you didn't have time. You were all about cleaning up, sorting out now you have time okay so the universe is gonna send you interesting people interesting ideas interesting adventure it's not to solve problem it is to explore in such a fun inquisitive adventurous inspiring and who knows this could lead you to money this could lead you to love but it's something to keep you busy and keep you optimistic and keep you growing I see you being very, very committed to this new, new cycle, Sagittarius, the Hierophant card. No more waking up lazy. You're, you're waking up with full of enthusiasm in here. Now, this Queen of Pentacles, I think it's a person. So for some of you guys, there's a person who you felt like this, they forgotten you, okay? There is a specific person who, you know, when you think of this person, when you think of this person, you feel very sad because you have this sadness feeling of, okay, they forgot about me. That's the vibe. Now, this person is going to start and slowly connect with you. Um, you there is a, there is a, the, dis, the disconnected feeling I'm getting is that you feel sad. Like you feel like they've left you out. Let's see. It could be a family member. It could be a friend or a lover too. Could be a Virgo. Oh, it could be someone you dated. So for some of you, it could be a male in the family. It could be a friend or someone you dated. I don't think this is an ex, okay? Or it could be someone younger because they're sweet. You know, like they have this sweet, sweet, and I'm hearing the word melody or rhythm or... I don't know, music, um, but they're sweet, okay? This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, guys. Um, 
for supporting the channel. I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.